Stand by on the floor, sets off camera three, both mics. And ready, headlines yeah. card. There's off camera three, both mics queued. Ready, roll four, take camera three, four, four. Roll four, take camera three, four, four. Just 18 days until election day, and it could all come five, down to five, those key Sheila. battleground states. I'm Tracy Mitchell in Washington. I'll have the very latest on the campaign. Roll five, Wi-Fi five, under Sheila. Well, it's a new offensive Ready, is being six, taken this morning under Eric. the latest strikes against insurgents by U.S. Roll six, Wi-Fi six, drivers, listen up. Your traffic troubles are just beginning for the weekend. We'll tell you the areas you need to avoid. Right, camera one, Karen. And it is a weekend, so what does the both forecast mics. hold? A look into the future coming up. Take three, both mics. Ready to go black, take and start morning. two sound full. Go black, take two, start two sound full. Camera one, your weather free shot, or your free shot from the desk. Roger, for this next one, for this first one, the Karen over sink two, and weather graph. The open is next. storms first and give you more advance warning. Depend on the power of eight, the live Super Doppler 8 network. You're watching KCCI, Channel 8, Des Moines. Iowa's new all right, step by on the floor. And we're out to Kemper 1 next, and we're off 1 and all mics. This is KCCI News Channel 8. Start your push, morning. dissolve 1, both mics queued. And it's 5 o'clock on this fantastic Friday. Good morning. Good morning, here. Time to get up, get going. Can you get them? Weekend is almost here. All right. It's Friday. So it's it's three. a cool start this morning. Three. We're back into the 30s, as a matter of fact. Hey, great shot there. State house 30 to Brian. a chilly state house at that at 38 degrees. Most Weather of the cloudy sky, Roger. west wind at 6. Dew point of 34, the pressure is steady as we open up the blinds and weather window. After this, we're out to camera one, and we'll swing up the camera Friday, three. 39 today, and we have 49 at commitment noon, clip. 49 and 5, maybe an isolated Ready shower. Ready camera one on both mics. I may actually have to bump that back into the uh, noon hour as well. A breezy afternoon in store. We take one, both mics. Shower, Ready swing, shower, Ready camera three. Blue Earth, Minnesota. And uh, we'll take a look at the regional radar and see if anything else is out there coming up. Doesn't look great, but it's Friday, so yeah, we don't care, I guess. See you and later. Swing to camera three. Top of our news Down at 5 o'clock this morning. Just 18 days and are left until election day, and the candidates don't have a minute to waste. Under. They're hitting the campaign trail, calling on voters to bring out family and friends. Under. Ready to roll four, set to dissolve four, sound full. With the latest, Tracy. Roll four, dissolve four, sound full. Well, Shula, this morning, both candidates are in the same battleground state looking for those crucial votes that could decide this election. John Kerry and Sir First and Sir... In this tight race, still too close to call. There Both candidates are focused on states. Tighten up just a uh, key, uh, key truck because Eric's still on the shot. According to the polls, President go. Bush and Senator John Kerry Sweet. are running Thanks, Roger. neck and neck. Loose fine. In Ready camera two and Sheila's Mitchell, mic. KCCI News Channel 8. Sheila, back to you. Take two, Sheila. Thanks, Tracy. Ready, we'll see still a little two. bit later on, too. And both next. candidates are claiming victory in the last debate. It was Wednesday night in Arizona. Take still and two. And the candidates are hitting uh, Iowa camera very one, hard box. to the swing any undecided with, um, voters. Iraq. Last night, Ready an estimated 16,000 Iowans attended a Kerry Edwards rally here in Des Moines. The crowd waited four hours for the candidates to take the stage. Whoa. Take six, roll six, take six under. Now, what the hell? Ladies and gentlemen, that oh, comes shoot. from an old boxer by the name of Joe Okay, we're back out the enemy. Camera one bust up. And I want to tell you All right, ready one, story. Eric. Take one, Eric. Take one, Eric. Shit. Again, President Bush will make a campaign stop in Cedar Rapids this Just afternoon. Stay on this he will hold a rally here. beginning at Gosh, 3 p.m. U.S. Right, forces have now. launched a new offensive against next. a new uh, against insurgents this morning. Clip. It's the Start latest five. in the war in Iraq this morning. Troops in Take Fallujah are Gosh, using precision Take ground and airstrikes Roger. to target a militant Down stronghold. Straight. Residents report the most intense shelling there in weeks. Loose the military We're back strike out the comes after a breakdown again. in talks for the handover That's of militant leader shit. Abu Musab al Ready, camera one. Take one. More late-breaking news We're just coming in from Iraq overnight. Next. Security uh, Roger, checks in the Baghdad Green Zone um, have failed. Two suicide bombers the got through still, multiple ID checks and searches there. They set off bombs killing three Americans. For a while. a Ready, fourth is presumed dead. Mike. A compound housing government offices and embassies was targeted. Take two, Back here in Iowa, no Ready, one will be held six, responsible for a deadly shooting in Fort Dodge. Paul Benton was shot and killed when he got into an argument with Dan Cole in August. Cole is the Western County Medical Examiner and he married Benton's ex-wife. Now a grand jury decided Ready, to roll four, set all four under. Dr. Roll four, does all four Sentencing under. starts on Downstream. Monday on Iowa's first death penalty case in four Loose years. Spot. We're out the, the jury found three Dustin next. Honkin guilty on all 17 counts of a federal indictment, including the murders of and three adults both and two mics, children and we'll in 1993 as part of a drug operation. Jury must go ahead and open Eric's mic. Ready, camera the three. Penalty for the convicted murderer. Take three, both it's happened several times Ready, this week, five, but another teenager is five, dead after an accident south five, of the metro area. area. Three teenagers Downstream. were going south on 30th Avenue near Martinsdale. Blue when spot. They we're out to camera one next, and then, then we'll go to a tape at six. 15-year-old Caleb Strabel of Martinsdale died at the hospital. 17-year-old Taylor Hamilton of Van Meter and Whitney Card of Cumming are both in the hospital this morning. Ready, Kim Warner. The driver was not seriously injured. Take one, Eric. Nationally, the death toll among young drivers is going down. Six. It dropped 4.5% from last year. 
However, the total 3,700 deaths is an increase from 10 one years ago. Shot. We're out the Analysts camera say team that's because of an increase in the miles ready that they are traveling Sheila. today. Take Get ready Sheila. for a weekend of traffic ready headaches. To roll, uh, Tomorrow, traffic along Interstate 235 will be take down to one lane downstream. between 63rd and 31st Street. Loose in spot. Route the camera then on Saturday next night into we'll Sunday morning, that stretch of the freeway will be closed altogether. So crews can tear down the pedestrian bridges at 40th and 44th Street. Take two, Sheila. And more than 2,000 runners are five, taking their five, mark under. for the third annual Twin Marathon. The race take takes place on under. Sunday at 8 o'clock. It begins at the Locust Loose Street Bridge. Loose camera one next on, on the three Adams shot. Bridge. And then this year's race we'll includes 12 and Olympic and trial Roger qualifiers, sink two, five by wheelchair graphs. athletes, Ready, and camera a 73-year-old woman mics. trying her very first marathon. Next, wow. Take one, one of the biggest mics. things that a lot of marathon runners want is some cool temperatures, Start but I'm not sure about this cold. Yeah, I don't know how cold they can handle, but we're going to be back in the 30s come Sunday morning. But I've actually pushed our chance for any showers until Sunday night. So there's some good news. Uh, weather graph I think we can yes. handle the cold better than we can in cold Bring and on, rain. Babe. And outside this morning, just cold, no rain. We have a cloudy sky, 38. <laughs> a west wind at 6, dew point at 34. Jesse, every weather sign already here. And our pressure currently get steady. There's 30 to you get out the door this morning, your rush hour Take forecast calling for a temperature weather right yeah. around 37. Uh, Roger, a west wind at 5 to 10. There you go, right. your sunrise. Roger, uh, double box is camera 3 and camera 1 if you can get them. It's going to be on the increase throughout the morning. Now, this afternoon, Ready as we increase clouds likes. a little bit more, may squeeze out an isolated shower as we head into the afternoon hours. 52, but a gusty. Northwest wind at 15 to 25, obviously making it feel more like the 40s. So grab a jacket Take if you're going to need it. Box. Of course, it's Friday. With Roger, after this, it's Carolina Clip we'll Store for your uh, still still ahead. Ahead. Weekend straight ahead. Ready to start right. your Another weekend under. of a lot of things going on outside. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Brian. Still, still to come on News 10 late this morning, the survivor tribes get switched around and right, neither uh, islands end up where they started. Thanks, but were they able to survive with their new teammates? It was a good show last night. And it was a frightening day for parents as a shooter runs from police and into school grounds. These Don't stories and much more straight ahead. Don't. Ready, go black, go black. Take two, start two, sound full. Pick up the exploring cheese. gallery today. Here comes the You're watching KCCI News Channel 8 this morning at 5. Send the bye on the floor. Iowa's news leader with Marcus McIntosh. Set this off Sheila camera to keep the talent music full. And meteorologist Brian Carrick with exclusive snow. live Super Doppler weather. This Set is off KCCI two. News Channel 8. Start your move to dissolve camera 2. Set this off. Ready under my cue. Under my cue. Set this off camera 3. And welcome back to off camera 3. This Sorry guys. It's now 11 minutes Down after stream. 5 o'clock. It's a chilly 38 degrees. Spot. We're going to 6 That was a good next. show last night. Another tough week for the Wins. Take 6 under. Roll 6. Take 6 silent. Open your survivor. Oh, he's doing It wasn't exactly a walk in the park for anyone this week on the island. An earthquake started shaking things up for the gang on Vanuatu. Osceola native Twyla Tanner said so long to four of her teammates. And her new tribe won the reward challenge. Rory Freeman, who's originally from Des Moines, was again fighting for survival in the new Yasser tribe. Camera 1, you can go ahead and be a three shot with Brian. Bubba was spotted trying to make contact with his old buddies on the other tribe, and you know what that team. means, <laughs> he's voted off. And take well, today two. children on the metro area right. can get a jump Ready, start on two. trick or treating. It is the 15th year for Blank Park's We're going to five Zoo's Red Eyes. Kids five can dress up Roll in their five. favorite costumes. Hopefully it's take a warm under. one this weekend. Downstream. And they'll collect yeah. treats throughout the weekend. New this year, Blue there's spot. an edition of a Halloween next for train weather. ride. Ready, the animals one. aren't out at night, though, but there are plenty of games and a chance to meet storybook characters. And take everyone all mine. Do you guys know what you're going as for Halloween? Yes. You do. Are you going to share? Are you going to... Oh, because it's a surprise. You're right. You're going to... That's yeah. right. Like we won't know who we you are because you're very tall. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what outside this morning, it's There's probably one of those days where yeah, you right. wish you were After this, a teddy bear we'll or, or I don't know, one of the three. thick costumes. And then we'll yes, go to your round the nation clip. 38 right now. With a mostly cloudy sky west, when it's 6, has a bit of a bite at times. Dew point of 34 and the pressure steady. Now, if you're doing any traveling, look at the cold influx of air all the way from Billings, Montana, Back out Jesse, to Ohio. The weather sound is getting Twin close. Today, a chilling think he'll shower take it. two at 45, 54 Have it ready. Chicago, 67 Memphis, 63 DC, 86 Miami, 80 in sunshine though in Dallas. Get to heat things up across the West. 88 in Vegas and 92 in Phoenix. Our forecast There's just again, Jess. calling for a high up around 52, give or take a degree or two. There's as we look for an isolated shower possible this afternoon. A cold front coming in as we increase the wind as well. Out of the northwest to 15 to 25. So, although we may Take reach 52, mics. we're talking a wind chill index back. Ready, swing, ready, camera three. three. The weekend, uh, yeah, it looks cool. We'll talk about it coming up. We'll see you later, Swing, Brian. take camera three. And also in the news today, a frightening day for parents as a shooting suspect Start hides clip. out inside take a school. Take eclipse on under. Ready, roll six. Ready, roll six. The school went into lockdown as police searched the grounds for the shooter. 
Police barged into classrooms to secure the situation. About 140 children were evacuated from the building. Authorities were then able to find the suspect and arrest him. A daycare in Texas has been shut down this morning after the child care provider ties up one of his kids with duct tape. The boy's wrists and ankles were bound with the tape when he was taken to the hospital. An owner of the daycare was arrested but is out on bail this morning. The daycare's license was suspended after the incident. More, child, more charges could be on the way. The boy's family also plans to sue that facility. Row five, wi -Fi it was a year ago that a okay, Staten the Island ferry crashed as it was docking. Ten people uh, were Eclipse killed, 34 no injured. Lines, Boats slammed into wooden pilings along the side of the dock. Debris could be it's found up to yeah, 400 pull, yards thanks. away. The ferry carries 70,000 commuters a day on the 25-minute ride under. between Staten Island and Lower Manhattan. Start clip, take me to clip under, open Ferrex Mike, start your pull one. Your all-important weekend forecast does include cool temperatures here. and Ridge, a chance for rain. We'll break it down for you coming up next. Go black, take two, start two, sound full. All right, good weather. Nine, six, eight, zero. Start clip, take clip, sound full. Stan Carrick by, so this is all me two and Carrick. It's camera two and on the floor. This is all me two, Carrick Q. It's so running out this three. morning. You'll want to make sure you have this your jacket with you. It's a cold start. And if you're just grabbing the paper, make sure the bathrobe tied tightly around you because... As I mentioned, it's cold. 38. We're back into the 30s this morning. We have a mostly cloudy sky, so that will slow us down just a little bit, but I still think we may drop a degree or two before the morning is out. A west wind at 6, dew point at 34, and the pressure is currently steady. School net sites giving you a wind chill index this morning. Take out the Fontenelle, not away valley. Current temperature of 40, but with a southwest breeze at 3, feels more like 38. 48 right now, Glidden Ralston as we look for a northeast breeze at 440 up at Tapton Elementary School in Humboldt and a wind chill index of 38. And we'll do one more. Well, we'll move beyond Emerson Elementary School. Head over to Iowa Christian Academy, West Des Moines, 38, and the wind currently calm. Around the region, the temperatures have dropped into the 30s all through Iowa. And uh, where temperatures are still closer to 40 out here in the eastern section of the state, visibilities have dropped a bit. Earlier, we had a report of a half mile visibility in a tumwa in some fog, so maybe if you're traveling eastbound, expect to run into a couple of problems here and there with visibility. 33 International Falls, 49 Rapid City, 44 in North Platte. Now overnight, we watched as the clouds kind of broke apart. Look at the spin. You can actually see the fluid motion. There's there. a minute to Brian. Spinning out here over Jesse, your Indiana weather this morning. Getting close. That will continue its eastward movement, but we're watching another quick moving system breaking out a few showers out here in Blue Earth and Fairmont, Minnesota. These are going to drop on in. Now, I'm not expecting a widespread rain event, but let's break it down with Predictor and show you an increase in the cloud cover at 9 o'clock, a few showers maybe up along the Minnesota border. Going to roll the clock to about 345 when we may see a couple of isolated showers pop, and that may stick with us into the evening Adam, hours. Thanks, so if you're headed out to a Friday night football game, especially the Brian. northeastern sections of the state, that's when you may see an isolated There's your shower. sound of jazz. So as you head out the door this morning, just an increase in some of the clouds at 37, sunrise at 727. This afternoon, there's isolated showers, only about a 20 to 30 percent chance. Best chances as you head north and east. 52 for your forecast high. Of course, it's football Friday night. If you're headed out to see Johnston take on Southeast Polk or maybe clear. Gilbert at North Polk. We're out to camera Ketras one next to the three shot. And the Roger Kyron over uh, but with a gusty northwest still wind, two for feel like ripples. The 30s. And then and an after that, we'll have Kyron over Victor northeast. six for more ripples. 31 overnight, but a wind chill index of 19 to 22. And there's your forecast into the weekend. Sets off camera one on all Saturday mics. And 59 Start your push. On Sunday. This is off camera one all mics. Sunday night and Monday morning. Okay, oh, ready, me well, too. I guess it feels like fall. Yes, it does. And we Take have some traffic alerts for you this morning. Okay, and West this, Des Moines, Roger, the eastbound 50th three, Street ramp to I-235 will be closed today. The eastbound exit ramp on 8th Street will also be closed. And we also want to remind you that Saturday, traffic along Interstate 235 will be down to one lane between 63rd three and 31st and Street in Des Moines. Oh, then early. Saturday night into Sunday morning, that stretch of the freeway will be closed altogether. So crews ready can then tear down mics. the pedestrian bridges at 40th and 44th Street. And take three both mics, ready to start six, six and take your Emmy six under, start six, take your Emmy six under. Sweet, all right, after this, it's the bump. It'll be the bump clip with Victor Four. Jesse, it'll be Victor Four sound No one will be held responsible for a deadly shooting in Fort Dodge. Paul Benton was shot and killed when he got into an argument with Dan Cole back in August. 
Now a grand jury has decided not to file any charges against Dr. Cole, who's also the medical examiner up there. The federal government is urging wow. states to investigate and prosecute. Okay, the ready to start your clip. You're taking Amy Clip store sound It is now the maker of the vaccine being roll blamed, four. but some of the companies who distributed as well. Start clip. And coming up next, under, roll four. this morning, many Iowans are wondering Going how to stay healthy this. without the shot this year. Ready so to go you black. Take two, start two, sound full. Go black. Take two, start two, sound full. Okay, this is off camera three, carrot Q. Four temperature outside, Ready to grab. 38, Take grab. heading for Those high today, sounder, 52, Jesse. an isolated We're shower, two possible one double box next. North and Ready, east, one double box. Northwest wind at 15 to 25 miles per hour. With more on today's Take one double box. Ready, camera one. Morning, okay, okay camera Brian, one. it's cold Thanks. outside, but the flu vaccine Going to five next. is a very Ready, hot roll five. Take five, sound full. Say Molly Cooney talked with Dr. Tom about how you can keep from catching the flu bug. Roll five. Take five, sound full. This year's flu season has been quite controversial so far because of the Blue's shortage fine. of the vaccine. All right, Roger, I'll and need that the, has uh, meant news a change in this morning graphic. Dr. Tom is joining us now with more on the need for flu shots in the first place. Well, she's going to be flu shots are a big deal. Vaccination is a big deal. We're moving into cold and flu season, which is like November through March. March. Okay. And though we we're back out together, to cold one. and flu season, and the then, flu is uh, not a cold. Sheila it's a much more significant illness. Six. Remember, Sound we spread cold. this through the respiratory tracts, coughing, sneezing. We breathe it in and get the infection. And we tend to get a Roger, whole list of symptoms of this, that we're all familiar um, with. Uh, fever, cough, chills, sore throat, headache, the, body uh, aches, all that stuff we're used promo, to. We'll have Everybody over, gets uh, sick. The problem is certain populations are much more It'll be airport sky elderly and those with chronic illnesses. The for our bump out deadly. at the end of this. As a matter of fact, there will, we anticipate 36,000 deaths be the this year because camp. of the flu. Because of the but shortage of the vaccine, what are you telling the patients the here. to do? Well, just to kind of illuminate the shortage, this the United States lost half of their supply when Britain pulled the, the vaccine this license for a company. And that means all of our recommendations for who should be vaccinated changed. We had to reduce that down and to try to spread it across the highest priority groups for vaccination, those who at the most risk of dying. So uh, that group would be the following. Number one, all children aged 6 to 23 months, we adults aged 65 e and older, two right now. persons aged uh, 2 e through 64 with chronic medical problems such as heart disease, lung disease, things like that. Women who are pregnant during the flu season, residents of nursing homes and long-term care facilities, children 6 months to 18 years on chronic aspirin therapy, and then any healthcare workers who provide uh, direct uh, patient care. It's not just the x-ray folks, but mm -hmm. the people who are taking care of people every day. For the rest of us, what's most important is going to be prevention this year. How do we do that then? Well, there are basic hygiene. Mm -hmm. and The way I think of it are a couple things. Number one, coughing and sneezing. Always use a tissue. Try to capture that so it's not spraying around the air. Number two, wash your hands. It's critical. Number three, avoid people who okay, are Okay, this Ill. package four, is about over. Sick, Ready, camera two, sake, and Sheila's mine. Don't go to school, don't go to work, and don't Ready go to, to the roll store six. and expose the rest of us. Don't be a martyr. All right, Dr. Tom, thank you very much. For feel your best. I'm Molly Cooney. Take two, Sheila. And thanks a lot, Molly. Ready, start Here's six, what's take coming six up full. tonight on News Channel 8 at 10. Start six, take six full. Good Friday Ready, morning, downstream, everyone. Downstream. Tonight on News Channel 8. Loose fun. I'm not going to use John. You can go ahead and set up for your Sky Camp bomb. At the end of this, Roger, we're going out to ME3 and some that does bump not music and it'll cheese. be under Sheila will talk. Looks like chilly weather here okay. to stay with temperatures Sets only me in the three 50s. And Sheila's and mic and cart music. Football Friday night. We are live at East High School as they take on the Tumwa. You won't want to miss it tonight on News Channel 8 at 10. Does Have all, a great Friday. Uh, does all me three Sheila cart Q. And it's now 520. The black Hopefully this. you're having a great Friday morning. We'll be right back with News Ready Channel 8 Ready to go black. Take it. Start morning. two full. Go black. Take two. Start two. Sound full. Okay. Hey. Here's the open. You're watching KCCI Channel 8, Des Moines. Here come the headlines. Iowa's news leader. Set about the floor, ready to roll four. Set the floor, meet three, four, sound full. This is KCCI News Channel 8 this morning. Start four, does all meet three, four, sound full. It's the sprint to the ready finish. Five, the campaign five under trail Eric. takes both of the candidates to Wisconsin tonight, Florida this weekend. I'm Brian Andrews, the latest from Washington coming roll up. Roll five, Y5 under Eric. Plus another deadly six, car crash claims Sheila. the life of another teenager. See how roll it happens. Six. Five, six under Sheila. And the government is trying Sets to crack down on price gouging as the flu vaccine shortage takes its Push. Those off camera one on my cube. Roger, Karen over Good morning to everyone. And it is a Friday. That means a lot of football games are going to be going on tonight. Yes, it sounds like we're going to be Sets out in the morning. Does he take on a Tumwa? And I will be announcing games throughout the morning. So listen up for yours. I want to talk about the forecast. A cool start this 30 to Brian. 38. A mostly cloudy sky. We're out to Clouds rolling through. But we will watch as those clouds increase. And our pressure currently steady, but we have an area of low Ready pressure graph. over Minnesota. 
So let's open up the Take blinds and our weather window and see okay, what we can Okay, after this, we're out to Cam 1, then we'll swing and then we'll have the commitment clip. About 39 at 8, 49 at noon, 49 at 5. A breezy, Ready, one, or I guess no we likes. could almost say blustery afternoon with a high up around 52. And there you go, an isolated shower. We'll also be take one all night. Nice. Spray swing. Ready, camera we'll three. Thanks, Roger. Nation. Amy, three. In just a Let's camera three. All right, thank swing. You. Take Topic three. Topic of news today with 18 Ready, days until the clip. election, take clip both presidential candidates are delivering a political punch start to battleground clip. states. Start Governor Vilsack rallied Ready, roll an estimated 16,000 Iowans at a Kerry Edwards rally at the fairgrounds last night. Roll four does all four sound full. The out cue is the White House. This video continues. Ready, under Mike and Eric. Randy under Mike and, and we're gonna get on whoa, with Kerry and Edwards, hold on. and they're going to take us through the rough water. Oh, that's such a great Randy under Mike Q, under Mike Q, under Mike Q, you know, giving you under Mike Q. Senator Harkin also took to the stage to speak to camera voters as did actor Josh Hartnett there, best known for the movie Pearl Harbor. Randy, he also talked with the crowd. He spent most of yesterday touring the state, talking with younger voters. And take three with only a handful of states still up for grabs in November, the presidential candidates have found some common ground in where they need to pick up the votes. As Brian Andrews reports this morning, President Bush and Senator Kerry are taking new attacks to big rallies in the same places. Start five, take five, sound full. Down. With thousands no. of supporters, uh, campaign stop today in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Lucifer, Stan, on to Wisconsin, Eric, Kai, where Rapids, John, John next, Kerry and has several six. campaign stops Ready, planned. Camera one and Eric's Brian Brian. Andrews, CBS News, Washington. Take one, Eric. Thank you, Brian. Republican Ready, governors six, rallying for six, the under. President roll Bush six. have also stopped in take Iowa. They made an appearance at the state Downstream. fairgrounds last night, too, during John Kerry Lucifer. and John Lucifer. Edwards' visit. We're out to 20 four Republican next, governors from around the United States are campaigning on behalf of President Bush. Ready, roll four. Governor Mitt Romney of Massachusetts, which is Kerry's home state, was on hand and says, Kerry is not the man for the job. Roll four does all four sound full downstream. We need to have the continuation of the leadership. Lucifer, we've this seen runs 12 President seconds. After as John Kerry he does it, we're out to still one what next. America and needs and Eric's in terms mind. of leadership, and John Kerry Ready, still one. does not. Take still one. Again, President Bush will make a campaign stop next. in Ready, Cedar two, Rapids this mind. afternoon. He'll be holding a and rally we'll starting at five o'clock. Take two, Sheila. President also Ready, does roll five. Take five under. Roll five. Take five under. Downstream. They talk with volunteers and independents. Loose bond. The 22-year-old camera two and then we'll go to tape on helping women, including the gains made by women in the country of Afghanistan. Take two, Sheila. They'll make her Michael Moore also makes a stop in Iowa this weekend. Moore is the director of controversial films like Bowling for Columbine. And Fahrenheit Loose bomb. We're out to camera one next with Eric, and then we'll go to tape four. Ready, camera one, Sunday as part Ready, of the Slacker Uprising tour. Some ISU alumni are threatening to stop donations if the university allows more to speak on campus. Take one, Eric. From, from the Ready, crime beat four, this morning, no one will four. be held responsible for a take deadly four, shooting under. in Fort Dodge Down a few months ago. Paul Benton was shot and killed Loose when he bomb. got into an argument with Dan Center. Cole Eric back in August. Dan Cole is the Webster County Medical Examiner and married Benton's ex-wife. Now a grand all five jury decided continues. not to file any charges against Dr. Roll five. Cole. Does all five Sentencing under. starts Monday in Iowa's and first death penalty case in 40 years. A Loose jury found Ralph Dustin Cameron Honkin next, guilty we'll on all 17 counts of a federal indictment, including the murders of three adults and two children in 1993 as part of a drug operation. Ready, the jury must now Sheila's decide mind. whether to impose the death penalty for the convicted murderer. Take two, a disturbing act of vandalism six, six, on a well-known landmark six, in Des Moines. Someone six, broke out the windows, Downstream. flashed tires, and destroyed signs on the Jesus Loose bus. Loose Route to camera two next again, the and then we'll go to tape The owner of Willard Van Zandt used nine different beds inside the bus as a mobile homeless shelter. Ready, it's camera two, she says, but he refuses to call police. Take two, Sheila. Whoa. A teenager is dead after a Eric metro area this or an shot. accident Ready, south four, of the metro four, area. Four, Three teenagers four, were under. going south on 30th Avenue near Martinsdale when they pulled out in front Loose of a We're out to camera one next with Eric and then Roger with the car and I was still two for rebels. Martinsdale died at the hospital. Ready, camera one. 17-year-old Taylor sorry. Hamilton of Van Meter and Whitney okay, Card of Conner. Now ready, camera one, Eric. The pickup driver was not seriously injured. Take one, a new report Ready, says less than one in four Iowa graduates have taken the necessary coursework to succeed in college. Take two. The report we're shows only 22% we'll of high school five. grads who took the ACT were ready for college math. 1.2 million one high school seniors line. took that test. It's all, that is only 40% of Iowa's graduates. Take one, Eric. More than 2,000 runners are getting under. ready for the third annual Des Moines Marathon. Take five the race under. is scheduled for Downstream. Sunday morning at 8 o'clock. It begins on the Locust Street Loose Bridge and wraps up on the Court Avenue we'll Bridge downtown. We'll go to a tape six, this year's one race three includes shot. 12 ready, Olympic two, trial Sheila. qualifiers, five wheelchair athletes, and a 73-year-old woman trying her very first marathon. Take two, Sheila. The shortage of the flu shot is taking its toll across the nation. The federal government is urging states to investigate and prosecute price gouging involved with the flu vaccine. Some hospitals say prices for the shots have shot up tenfold. It is not the maker of the vaccine that's being blamed, but some of the companies who distribute it. And this morning, Polk County is out of the flu vaccine. 
There are flyers on a door Blue indicating the supply is gone. Route camera on one next Last for week, weather. Flu clinics Roger, we'll do camera number six two again, followed by weather shot. graph. State officials say the Centers for Ready Disease Control, on they've mics. promised Iowa that it will receive more of the vaccine. And take one on it mics. was 5.38 this morning, and we've kind of gotten into the habit Start this week one. of getting up and walking outside and being a little cool. Sure. And it's too. even colder this morning, and we're back into the 30s. This all me fact, too. Our current temperature There's at Moyne International Airport, 38. We have a mostly cloudy sky, a west wind at 6. After at weather grass, Roger, we'll um, come back out to a two-shot. The pressure currently set. And then uh, hey, look at your rush we will do a tyrant over clip store if we're still ahead. About 37. And a west wind at 5 to 10. Thanks, Jesse, for, for your, your weather sound. Cloud cover. Your sunrise officially at 727. You know now, even into the afternoon, you know what, Roger? We'll Let's do that one. jacket as we are looking at a high 52, but with a Ready gusty west wind. I don't have stress, bro. I'll use it. 1525 with higher gusts. Gonna feel more like Let them know we're coming out to everyone. An isolated right. shower or two. On double boxes, ready we'll talk one about double the box, taking one double box. And of course it's football ready, Friday ready night. Ready camera three and both bikes. On that coming up as well. All right, Brian, thank you. And take their both bikes. Research channel eight this morning. Mount St. Helens is glowing red hot Sweet. this morning. See black how long scientists say the lava could build up inside the volcano. And a shake on survivor. And we're not just talking about the earthquake that happened. Rory gets sent to team up with the women, but was he able to win them over? Find out after the break. Go black. Take two, start two, sound full. You're watching okay, KCCI the News Channel 8 this morning at 5.30. Down by the floor. Seth is off camera three. With Marcus McIntosh. Eric and Sheila's mic. Sheila Brummer. And meteorologist Brian Carrick with exclusive live Super Doppler weather. This is KCCI News Channel 8. This off camera three, both mics cute. Welcome Down back to News Channel 8 this morning. It's already 19 minutes before 6 o'clock. Loose fun, one to five next. Or maybe a good night if you're just going to bed. This morning, Ready Mount St. Helens over in under. Washington State is now glowing take five sound under. The volcano Downstream. is still letting off steam, but now you can see little spots of lava dotting the we'll side of the mountain, next. especially overnight. Scientists say the lava buildup inside Ready could go six, on for months. Six under. The average temperature of the lava is about 1,300 degrees Roll Fahrenheit. Six, dissolve six this under. is wild here in Iowa. Cold temperatures are setting in. But this is New All right, Mexico. We're up to, uh, camera one, you can there are already Ron. signs of we're old man winter. The first weather. snow is on the ground and then we'll there do this morning. They say this is an Albuquerque. Two and I wonder if it's up in high graph. altitudes. The flakes dusted the streets on Wednesday. Ready, camera one on all Causing the need for travelers to be extra careful on the road. Dissolve camera one on all You were talking yesterday that there might be some snow maybe up in Minnesota or yeah, something like it's that. Yeah, actually Thanks now Roger. looks like it's it may be you know I mean? north of the border, but we still may see a white snowflake or two in northeastern mm -hmm. Iowa, Does especially you know I mean? Sunday night. Uh, Samantha Saturday Brian, night in the Sunday morning. Weather graphs next. Yeah. Jesse, have your bless you. Not anticipating any of that now. Every weather sound already, just in case. I haven't seen anything like that in our 10-day forecast, so I wouldn't worry about snow just yet. Just the cold temperature outside of 38, so mostly cloudy sky, a west wind at 6, and our pressure steady. If you're doing yeah, any take traveling right. today, Thanks. and maybe you are headed north, 45 Jesse, weather sound is getting close after this. We're up to one. They are expecting and a mix the of rain three. and snow today from Duluth on up to the north and maybe up into Thunder Bay as well. 54 Chicago, 64 and some rain in New York City. About 67 in Memphis. Look at the colors. They start to change there. They get a little cooler with the greens. Oh, there's 15 and Brian. I missed spreading my 30 there. Sorry. Atlanta, Georgia, 86 in Miami, 92 in Phoenix. And if you're heading out to do a little gambling, All right, let them know. G maybe you're getting married in Vegas. G6, Blank Park is dead. G6, take. Today. Up, uh, around. I guess there is We're no. Talking about 52 degrees. There it is. There's your sounder. Roger, that get. Natalie, you get rid of your night eyes, tape. Ready, camera one and all mics. Take one all mics. Ready, swing, ready, camera three. Did you watch Survivor last night? Yes, I did. Swing, take camera three. Start your um, Survivor music, <laughs> Jesse. It's next. Bye -bye, take three. And well, it was ready, roll four, take four under. Roll four. Take four under. And it wasn't exactly roll five, since it's all five under. Roll five. It's all five under. That's because an earthquake. Started shaking up Loose things fun. in the Six is next sound full. And Jeff Probst continued uh, the trend by dividing and mixing up the tribes. Camera one can go to the cave. Osceola native Twyla Tanner said so long to four of her teammates, and she now has a new tribe, and they won the reward challenge last night. Roy Freeman Ready to roll six. This is all six sound full. Bubba. And for the ladies, he was outnumbered. He was on the Osceola tribe, and he was immediately fighting for survival once again. Roll six. This is all six sound full. Rory, you lost a lot okay, of time. Okay, uh, the out cue is kick with girls. This video continues. Seen. Sheila or Eric will talk. After that, it's the bump. Council. It's camera one. Jesse, after this, it'll be the bump. Bubba camera and one, and then clips to run under no mics, and then uh, very, very talk. Ready to under mic. One of the two of us has got to go. I fit in better with these guys up here. I'm already kicking with these guys where I was never able to kick with the girls. Under mic, both mics cue. 
Well, Rory actually got a okay, reprieve the when next. the lady spotted Bubba doing something not very smart. He was trying to make contact with his buddies on the other tribe. Well, it cost him his survival. Okay, Ray, start your clip so and Roy take has your, another week to come up with under. a new approach to stay in the game. It has been so close for Rory every week. Start clip, take your clip under. Open character's mic, start your pull one. Hmm. Go on the block now after this. Week to find Roger, that killed your night eye scrap. You know what? So you don't have to wait too long. Ready to go black, take two, start two sound And I'll have the weekend forecast for you. And go black, take two, start two sound full. All right. Start clip, take clip sound full. Stand now, Carrick by. So this is on me two and Carrick's mic. It's camera two on the floor. And traffic on the eight. This is on me two, Carrick two. 548 downtown this morning. This oh, three. boy. A cold start. 801 Grand. A little steam coming off the top. You can't see it. Uh, I noticed it on my way in. And if you're at it outside, uh, probably going to be seeing your breath for a while. 38, a mostly cloudy sky. We have a west wind at 6. Now, at times, the wind picks up and has a bit of a bite There's to traffic, it. Jesse, so and sure there's two minutes to Brian. Down before I head out the door. And uh, 34, our dew point right now. So we won't fall too much further, but I still think we may fall a degree or two before the morning is out. School net sites this morning Traffic's also showing ready, thank our you. chilly air. We took uh, it out of Knoxville. At West Elementary School, you can show the anchors, the traffic sign. The we do have traffic. Two, by the way, Pella Cooperative, our sponsor down there in Knoxville. Take you over to Lamona Community. It's temperature 39, but look at this. A west-southwest breeze at 5, giving you a wind chill index in Lamona of 35. And a 41-degree temperature up in Latimer at Cal Community. And a current wind out of the west at 5. So we're probably talking more like a wind chill index of 39. So let's take a look at what's going on around the region. Overnight, we had a bit of a clearing going on. Pushing those clouds the east yesterday, actually last evening when we said we'd see a partly cloudy sky. We did that by late evening. Look at this area of low pressure spinning out over Indiana and Ohio, spreading some showers in their direction. And then we turn our attention north to the next little upper level disturbance. It's almost like There's a, one a very fast moving system. This one not bringing any snow with it here, but we may be talking some snow showers up in northern Minnesota and northern Wisconsin as we head into this afternoon. Oh, that would be uh, Chiron over Victor 5. That's, um, that will be after traffic. 90. And let's see if that will move its way down. Do I have a predictor clip in there? In the cloud cover as it increases. Oh, okay. Stop the clock okay. about 345. May see a couple okay. of isolated just showers pop as that Make sure I didn't accidentally put that in there. And then as we head into late tonight, the There's 30 to the Brian. Cloud cover we Jesse, your Sunday. weather sound is getting close. There's some rain coming in by Sunday. So your rush hour can head out the door about 37. West Augie on the West Guy Cam, can you zoom in for a traffic now. shot? Roger's going to be the West Guy Cam. This afternoon, an increase in the wind as well. So although it's going to be 52, look at that northwest wind, 15 to 25, going to make it feel more like the 40s. And there is that isolated shower He's threat clear. as well. Football Friday night, if you're heading out to check out Clark Gosio We're out the camera Perry, one or maybe eight-man football, Lamoni taking on Adair Casey. Let the anchors know we do have traffic. Most of the game with an isolated shower and early. The one that will northwest be up wind one. is going to have a bite to it, so we're talking a wind chill index in the 30s. 31 tonight, and a wind so chill index of 19 to 22. Tomorrow, about 53. Start the Des Moines push. Marathon looking dry but cool. 59 on Sunday, and a chance for a shower or two late Sunday night into Monday. Dissolve the camera one on mics. So, uh, well below the Ready, average, which one is and traffic, cool. and hmm. what's All your right. name? That's what we got to Nick. And take Emmy one. And we have a new voice. All right, after this, it'll be Chiron over Victor Rush. Five. Good morning, we'll come out Lisa. the camera three, and then we'll good do morning. Uh, yeah, we've Chiron got a over Victor good Five. Good morning from you, Dylan, right now. Outside after cool that, Roger, we will have a bump clip, and it'll be in Victor do, Six uh, you about after Top Stories. Issues going on as far as construction goes today. 10 o'clock till 2 o'clock this afternoon. The eastbound I-235 exit ramp to 8th Street is going to be closed. Jesse, we'll have a clip, bump a clip after. The morning. Hold on, hang this on. This is Lisa with KT. Ready, camera, three traffic. both mics. Take three both mics. Thanks a lot, Lisa. Ready, start now five, take your enemies five under. Start five, take your enemies two five under. Okay, after this, guys, we have a bump. It'll be Victor 6. It'll be sound full. And today, President Bush returns to Iowa, making a campaign stop in Cedar Rapids. No one will be held responsible for a deadly shooting in Fort Dodge. Paul Benton was shot and killed when he got into an argument with Dan Cole in August. Now, a grand jury decided not to file any charges against Dan Cole, who is the medical examiner in Webster County. Federal government is okay, urging states to next. investigate and prosecute price Ready, gouging start your involved clip and take your vaccine. Clip. It's not the maker under, of the vaccine that's being blamed, but some of the companies who distributed. Start your clip, take your aiming clip under. Roll six. A major shakeup in the insurance the industry sends shockwaves to Wall Street. Go Black, Take-Two, sound full. That story more coming up in the Bloomberg Business Report. Go Black, Take-Two, start two, sound full. Thanks, everybody. All right, camera, dissolve camera three, carrot Q. 554, Ready, grab. temperature outside 38. So grab the jacket grab. and you'll need it throughout the day as well it, as we head to Iowa. Thanks, Jesse. Uh, uh, we're out to Amy One Double Boxes next. 15 to 25, quite gusty. We'll make it feel colder. Increase in the cloud Ready, cover. Ready, Amy One Double Box. Isolated. 
shower. That is look at the Taking forecast. Double Eric, we'll have more in the ready five camera one and Eric, you ready to start your pull. All right, Brian, and, we'll wait around for that. And one, business Eric, news today, a major shakeup in the insurance industry, ready to roll four, sending shockwaves through Wall Street this morning. Lori Rothman has that story and more in this morning's Bloomberg Business Report. Start four, take four, sound full. Good morning. Downstream. He's gone after the brokerage firms for stock research. Lose font. Good job, Tim. Hey, um, at the New end York of this, Jesse, I jumped Spitzer's ahead. We're going to need the Iowa index industry. music Spitzer card, and we'll just play that out over the sky cam as well. Customers of billions of dollars. Um, on Thursday, After this, Spitzer Roger, we'll do Chiron over Planet, Steel 2 for some Iowa index. To certain and the then um, insurance companies to their after that, drop we'll do Chiron years. over um, ME2. After Good. a quick break, we'll tell you what impact that so had on the rest of the markets. Bloomberg's Business Report is brought to you by Capital One. you do on your own private island? Check your mail for the Capital One No Hassle Island Giveaway. You could instantly win your own island for one of hundreds of island getaways. What's in your wallet? Bad news on top of more bad right, news. Well, I'm feeling here on Wall Street Thursday. The news out of the insurance company, coupled with a disappointing forecast from General Motors. In the next block, we'll be going to the Hearst satellite. Sliding. Looks like it's up in Sat 3. 107 points, closing below 10,000 for the first time this month. The S&P lost 10, the Nasdaq Je fell 17. Jesse, you have Sat 3 on the audio board, don't you? The consumer front may impact trading today. Or do you today. need it in another Retail source? Retail sales are expected to have bounced back in September after okay. falling in August. Economists say strong car sales boosted uh, growth as automakers Roger, increased incentives. Roger, where we need to route that to. Retail sales account for okay, almost we're getting pretty close here. Standing. Stand here at but buying. some economists are concerned high oil prices may slow consumers Ready your down Iowa this index quarter. music to uh, Jesse. In fact, the University of Michigan's first read on consumer confidence for October is expected to show a decline. That's business. Okay, so this is on me, three and Eric's mic and Iowa Cart Music. Bloomberg Business Report. This is on me, three, Eric Cart. Thank you, Lori. Now here's a look at the indicator okay, of we'll Iowa's economy next. that we call the Bloomberg Iowa Index. It averages Actually, several big companies yeah, around the state of Iowa, like Roger. Meredith Publishing, Sour Dan okay, Foss, cool. and Rockwell Collins, among many others. The value this morning is 144.43. That's down 82 hundredths over yesterday. For a more in-depth look it's at the Airport. Iowa Index, you can Adam. log on to the iowachannel.com okay, and click on the morning show icon. Then click on the Bloomberg Iowa Index. It right now it is almost 558. You're looking you at can, the airport Adam. sky cam in downtown Des Moines. It's going to be a chilly this. morning this morning as you get out black, the door. We're going to have all your top cool. stories, all your weather and traffic after 6 o'clock. Stay with us. Go black. Take two. Start two, sound full.